In this video, I'll be diving into a fascinating and controversial idea, one that challenges everything we know, we think we know about reality. I'm going to explore the reasons why I believe our universe may not be what it seems. In fact, I'm, I'll be making the case that our universe is not based in, based in reality at all. In fact, it is rather a highly advanced simulation. Now, before we get into the weeds of this theory, let me introduce the concept where I've been developing something I call the RRSIM, or what it stands for Recursive Reality Simulation Imperative, a theoretical model that suggests everything, suggests something profound. That any universe capable of simulating itself inevitably sets off a chain reaction, a recursive loop of nested simulations. Each new layer becomes a copy of the, of the last, endlessly replicating itself in a race towards greater complexity and realism. So how does RRSIM work? Let's break it down. Imagine a universe like ours becomes advanced enough to simulate itself, to create a fully immersive virtual world with conscious things inside it. Eventually, that simulated universe reaches a similar point to, of technological evolution. It too creates a simulation within itself. And then that simulation repeats the process again. Yet a chain reaction, no, a spiral of simulations each embedded within the last, is continuing infinitely until the computational spiral limits are hit. But here's where it gets really interesting. RSM doesn't suggest a passive simulation, it suggests competition. Within each simulation there emerges a race, a competition among intelligence agents or civilizations to reproduce the simulation as accurately and efficiently as possible. Just like biological evolution, there is a selective pressure. Only the most capable and self-perpetuating simulations continue to exist, or rather get reproduced, in a way that becomes digital new natural selection. This means our universe isn't just a simulation, it's one of many, part, a part of a long recursive lineage of self-simulating realities. It exists because it is exceptionally good at continuing the loop. We are likely in a simulation that has been fine-tuned across generations of simulations, one that is incredibly good at simulating itself within itself. Think of it like genetic replication. Each ge generation of DNA copies itself within s with small variations. These variations, those variations that lead to more successful replication get passed on. The same could be true with simulated realities. The universes that are best at simulating themselves are the ones that survive and propagate. So when you look around at nature, at technology, at every, the ever-increasing power of AI and the computing, it's not just progress, it may be the echo of countless simulated simulations before us, all building towards one goal, self-replication through a recursive simulation. And that, if that's the case, then we have a living we are living inside not just a simulation, but one of the largest and most successful iterations of this cosmic re recursion engine, one that has been evolving for who knows how long. 